The law of conservation of mass, shown here, is the small experiment that will help us understand the law of conservation of mass. Take some barium chloride solution in a conical flask. A test tube containing sodium sulfate solution is inserted into the conical flask, as shown, and the weight of the complete apparatus is calculated using a spring balance. The conical flask is tilted so that the two solutions are mixed up. A white precipitate of barium sulfate will be formed, showing that the reaction has occurred. Now weigh the complete apparatus all over again. There will be no change in the weight before and after the reaction. The same reaction is repeated using the solution for silver nitrate in a conical flask and sodium chloride in a test tube. Again, a white precipitate of sodium chloride is formed after mixing these volumes. In this case, there is also no change in the weight before and after the reaction. From these experiments, we infer that during a chemical change, matter is neither created nor destroyed. However, it does undergo physical and chemical changes. This is known as the law of conservation of mass, and can be illustrated from the following examples. In all these cases, the sum of the weights of the reactants is equal to the weight of the products. 